What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Celebrity Junk, man. And I am your host, O'Shea Duke Jackson. And today we're talking about our man, Michael Strahan. Now, let me just kind of back off that. Everybody remembers Michael Strahan, defensive end for the New York Giants. He went to Texas Southern University, this is the HBCU. And we're going to talk about that. But Michael Strahan was first married to his ex-wife, Jean Mugley. And we all know that Jean is white, all right? I want to talk to a lot of brothers out there who a lot of times feel like, you know, being in the black community, dealing with a lot of our issues, dealing with our people is a drag and let me let me just be honest i i understand that no, if don't nobody understands it i understand it you know what i'm saying that's one thing that i want to talk to you brothers about i understand where you're coming from all right i grew up in compton i grew up in watts i moved to del paso heights i spent some time living in oakland i went to howard for a minute i went i was living in northwest dc i lived in you know all, all type of urban ghettos and um dealt with the nonsense of, of 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 the best and worst of our people and i get it and i definitely understand the issues that african-american men face in dating in the black community i get it i mean like every guy you know who talks about you know if i'm not a pookie or a ray ray i have a problem there's some truth to it i mean i've talked about stories like that right here on this channel and a lot of times a lot of black men that have talent uh you know that are academic or maybe they are business driven a lot of times um they might not have the, a certain type of charisma that garners the attention of you know a well-to-do attractive or women who could be candidates for a long-term relationship and a lot of these black men who are doing fairly well military good income stable income uh, sometimes and now we're seeing an increase especially amongst uh the emergent blacks and those are you know the non-african american blacks so you know you're you're nigerian you're ghanaian you're kenyan you're ugandan you're caribbean blacks you're afro latino blacks we're starting to see a a, a surge of them dating interracially all right a lot of black men are dating interracially and you have your movements you know even here on youtube you know save yourself black men and other groups that are telling black men like you know hey it's probably going to be hard for you to find somebody in the black community go to other communities and find better and you know it's hard for it's hard to argue against uh some of the talking points right because in the black community with a lot of african-american women the culture for them to be a wife it, it, it's something that's not instilled in them okay their moms um, they're not teaching their daughters how to achieve this. You know, uh, the fathers may have not been there because them and the mother couldn't get along. And that le and that even happens, you know, even for women who are in college. You know, I went to HBCU. There are a lot of nice, good-looking black women there. You know, uh, beautiful, sweet, you know, nice body, big old booty, and all of the other stuff you would like. That's there, okay? Don't, don't get it twisted, brothers. It's definitely there. But when it comes to finding a woman that, you know, you might want to marry for some guys, you know, it could be a little harder. But I will say HBCU, you should definitely be able to find somebody. But I guess, you know, I'm not everybody. Michael Strahan with the TSU. And, um, you know, he, he, he couldn't or didn't marry somebody from Texas Southern at the black university level. So he married a white girl. And on average... When you marry somebody white or out of the black culture, a lot of brothers think that, you know, things are gonna, you know, instantly get better for you. You're gonna have a better chance. All of this is gonna be better, right? Right? Well, I'm gonna tell you that in this case is very wrong. Um, and a lot of brothers sometimes, and I'm not even talking about Michael Strahan, but a lot, I'm seeing a lot of 
non-black female worship coming out of this space, you know, um, when it comes to women that are foreign, when it comes to women that are white, how much better they are. And Michael Strahan is a guy that has been dealing with this issue with this lady for a long time, all right? Um, now, he has twins, and he's going back and forth saying that his wife, has been emotionally, physically abusive to his teen daughters. All right? Now, here's the situation. She was going around, the wife was at least, challenging his sexuality, um, saying that he was abusive physically, emotionally to her, and all of this other stuff. Um, and now he's talking about he has proof of the, the abuse of, of, on the other side. He got, I mean, he owed a lot of money to her and all this stuff, and Basically, he's trying to say that, man, she's crazy and deranged and all of this. And see, here's the what doesn't come out when a lot of brothers push this date outside your race narrative. You know, and there's an agenda, I believe. And this happens on both ends, right? Like Now, a lot of black men, when you talk about, uh, let's say, when black women say that white men are better, Black men don't have a problem pointing out the fact that white men have problems too. But black men will point out the fact that, you know, black women have problems, but other groups of women, they won't, you know, a lot of times we are, we'll, we're silent on that. And look at what Michael Strahan is going through. I mean, Michael Strahan's wife isn't black. Ex-wife isn't black, putting them through all this. She's white. And what a lot of black men don't understand is any woman in the system can take it to the cleaners and that's what i want to give a big shout out to the youtuber ramil amir when he says you know hey it's not black women having an american problem it's women in america period that can take you to the cleaners and a lot of black men are just out there searching for another race of woman and thinking that everything is going to be good on the other end but then you can end up and be like michael strahan and have these problems see here's the situation and a lot of black men you know who are trying to cater themselves to a woman just because she's asian or because she's white or because you don't like black women that much you you know there, there are there are chicks that are taking brothers to the cleaners all the time of any race all right you have white women that could take you to the cleaners you have black women that could take you to the cleaners you have asian women that could take you to the cleaners and on the other hand you have asian women who can be faithful black women who can be faithful you can have white women to be faithful in, in this case i mean who who can michael strahan really set this at the feet of and it all i can say is probably the brother didn't do enough vetting you know and a lot of times I think as African-American men, we get caught up when we get exposed to other groups of women, you know, when they first come in and start dealing with us. You know, African-American women are, are typically not as nice. And they're kind of, you know, we kind of know what their real intentions are. They kind of let it know. You know, black people, we kind of deal with each other in a more direct fashion. But when you're dealing with somebody from another community, it's hard to see the tricks that might be coming through. That's why a lot of brothers, when they go to you know, Brazil, Thailand, and deal with some of the Philippines. You know, they talk about, man, I'm getting really treated real good, man, brother. You know, they, they really got respect for you, boy. And, and then until you find out, you know, like a year later, that, you know, that it could be possible that this chick is uh, giving everybody she comes in contact with um, the royal treatment. And shout out to brother uh, Aaron Ferris over at the Black Men's Travel Channel because he talks about these kind of things all the time. You know, and a lot of times, you know, you can get hoodwinked and you can believe that somebody is one way and they are the other. But a lot of brothers, I think, give somewhat of an advantage to a non-black woman because they believe that they're more loyal. They believe that it's more in their culture to do that. And we, we do so without vetting people. You know, black men got to start vetting all women, not just, you know, black women, but, you know, you have to have certain standards for yourself and you have to really look at, you know, hey man, does she possibly have any mental issues? Does she come from a good home? You know, uh, what is her family life like? What is her work life like? What does she achieve educationally? You know, things like that. Are we on the same level? Are we equally yoked 
in what we're trying to do are we are we there you know what i mean and i think for a lot of us as black men when we start dealing with races other races of women we'll hold black women to that standard but when we start dealing with white women we won't hold them to that standard we know how to hold black women to the standard talking about you know no single moms no chicks with kids you know we could do that all day and then turn right back around and you'll get with a woman of another race that's a single mom and you forgot your standards you have for black women and then when that doesn't work out then all of a sudden you want to be upset but this is something that you got to start to learn how to do you know as black men we got to really be careful about um the women that we're dealing with and you know or you could easily end up like michael strahan in this worship of rebecca or as some of you brothers may call her jean some of you may call her becky I mean, you know, the truth is that women can be women. Women can be manipulative if they would like so if you get the wrong one. So I think a lot of brothers need to stop just, you know, bigging up other people over your own and just make the right decisions of whatever group of women that you get with because, you know, this good things or bad things can happen. At the end of the day, you don't want to end up like Michael Strand. So, guys, that's my celebrity junk for today. Make sure that you like, comment, hit the bell. Check me out on patreon.com backslash Negro Manosphere. And then all my information is pinned to the first comment at the top. Make sure that you check me out on all these other different things. Check out the Black Men Are Perfect t-shirts, brothers. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.